So let's get started. So start by giving yourself permission to be fully present for this hour. So you've decided to be here. So if you're comfortable doing it, turn off your phone, make sure you will not be interrupted and really give yourself the gift of this hour. It doesn't happen that often that you really give yourself the time not to be interrupted and just to let yourself have an experience. So see if you can do that. So we'll practice for about an hour, starting with seated meditation, moving on to lying down, and it'll end in about an hour, at which point you're welcome to stay and ask questions, or you're welcome to drift off to sleep or whatever you would like to do. So just to kind of let you know what'll happen. And we'll start with finding a comfortable seat. So many of you do practice yoga with me, or you may on your own, but if you don't, so you may have seen the stereotypical seat with, can't totally see my legs, but sitting cross-legged. That's just one of many ways to sit. You can also have both knees facing the same way. Legs could be straight out. I have one knee up. You could sit in a chair. So the, the important thing is just to be comfortable. Sitting in a chair is absolutely fine. You're also welcome to lie down. The reason we suggest sitting, though it's fine to lie down, is because you might fall asleep. And later we'll do a practice that is sort of, kind of designed to fall asleep. This one is more designed to calm the mind, but it is completely up to you to choose. So find that comfortable seat or any other position you like and invite yourself to close your eyes or just softly gaze. So the soft gaze down can be a first step to relaxation and you may like to try that. So now I'm gonna invite you to place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. It is just an invitation, so you may not wish to do that. Just go ahead and take a breath in and a breath out. And just notice how it feels to breathe into a soft belly. Just breathing into a soft belly. Notice how it feels to give yourself this bit of kind attention. And especially if you've been feeling anxious or fearful and with everything happening in the world, that's natural. And honestly, it's hard to avoid kind of looking at the world as if the world is a threat. But tonight, if you can, just for this one hour, practice and just try to look at yourself and look at the world through the lens of kindness. The lens of kindness. And then say to yourself as you inhale, so let me suggest that you inhale and exhale through the nose for the moment, but if nose is stuffy, of course, that may not happen. So we're inhaling through the nose and you may say to yourself, breathing in, I know I'm breathing in. And breathing out, I know I'm breathing out. And breathing in, I know I'm breathing in. Breathing out, I know I'm breathing out. Try repeating that to yourself without me. Try it one more time, breathing in. I know I'm breathing in. I'm breathing out. I know I'm breathing out. And now say to yourself, when I breathe in, I feel calm. When I breathe out, I smile. And you can do an actual physical smile or you can feel that smile maybe in your mind, maybe in your heart. So 
So breathing in, I feel calm. Breathing out, I smile. And you might shorten that to just simply say, I feel calm, I smile. I feel calm, I smile. Try it yourself a few times. And notice if when I stop talking, does your mind immediately get distracted? And maybe yes and maybe no, maybe you're very focused, but maybe the mind wanders. And this is normal because minds are, you know, meant to think and create and all those things. But for now, we're trying to get the mind to focus, just to focus. So let's try a little bit more and let's try when the breath or when the mind that is wanders, not if it wanders, but when it wanders, notice it wandering and gently bring it back. Just sort of note, well, that's interesting. My mind is wandering. I notice it and bring it back to these repeated words or phrase commonly called a mantra which right now we're using the mantra calm, smile. That's just a suggestion. You want to substitute something else that's totally fine. Calm and smile. So let's try that for just a few minutes. Calm and smile. When the mind wanders, bring it back. If hand on the heart, hand on the belly you don't like, you can move arms to a more traditional position on the legs. Calm, smile. If the mind is wandering, gently bring it back to the mantra. Calm, smile. And one more time guide you to come back to the mantra of calm and smile. And now just two more breaths. And if the mind really is tending to wander, maybe say to yourself, I can do anything for two breaths. And after your next exhale, release this particular meditation practice. This is a meditation that we just did on the breath and with a mantra. So we kind of combined two different techniques. Let's leave it for now, knowing that if you have questions about it, we'll have the opportunity to talk about it later. So now let's try a meditation called five, four, three, two, and one. And this is a meditation on the senses. This is for those times that maybe you can't fall asleep because your mind is going crazy. It could be in the middle of the day. You're just thinking about so many worries and problems and you wanna get it away from this sort of racing mind and bring it back and ground it into your senses. So I'll lead it and then we'll try it silently after. So the first thing that you do, you can have your hands any way you like, you can, do, you can choose. 
And first, we notice five things that we can see. So just notice five things you see and you wanna name them. So I might say, I see my fire, I see my salt lamp, I see my laptop, I see my shirt, see my hair. So name five things that you yourself can see, whether it's in your environment or that you're seeing in my environment. Either one is fine. I'll give you a moment to do that. And when you're done with that, notice four things you can touch and actually touch them. So I might say to myself, I can touch my necklace. I touch my hair. Touch my yoga pants. Touch my carpet. So find four things you can touch, touch them and name them. So if you're doing this on your own, you can name them either silently to yourself or you can name them out loud. Whatever is going to help you really keep your mind focused. Try that if you haven't already. And then we do three things that you can hear. So my environment's pretty quiet but I can hear the crackling of logs. When I move, I can hear a little sound, my necklace making a little sound when I move. And if it's really quiet, you might listen and hear the beating of your heart. You might hear yourself breathe. So I'll be quiet and see if you can hear three things. And then notice two things that you can smell. And if you're in an environment where it's pretty neutral, you're not really noticing things, it might simply be that you're noticing the air coming in through your nostrils. Or you could do, mm, I smell my shampoo, you know, whatever it might be. So two things you can smell, name them to yourself. Hmm. And then the last one is one thing you can taste. And if you're in a situation where you're not eating or drinking, you can simply have an awareness of the tongue, the teeth, the lips. So one thing you can taste. And then let's do it again without me talking so much, but I will guide you through it. And so it's five things that you can see and remember to go ahead and name them. And then four things you can touch and actually touch them. and three things you can hear and name them. Two things that you can smell and name them. and one thing you can taste. And now see if you can do it on your own without my guiding. And all you have to remember is it's five, four, three, two, one, and it's the senses. So if you do it in a different order, that's totally fine. So I'll give you a moment to do that.
ahead and finishing up your five, four, three, two, one meditation. And almost all these meditations and more I have recorded. They're available free. You can listen to them on YouTube anytime. So don't worry about, you know, taking notes or memorizing or any of that stuff. The goal is to practice enough so that it becomes part of you and you can do it when you need it in a situation where, you know, you may not have a teacher with you or a YouTube, you know, with you. The next technique is, it's really a breathing technique, but it's something that can be combined with meditative technique to be extremely focusing. And I have found it very useful in these crazy times to get me really focused and centered, whether it's during the day, before maybe before I'm going to do something, or it's in the middle of the night if you wake up and you're feeling anxious. So this is the suggestion. So these days when we're out in public, we're not touching our face, but if you're at home, as long as you feel that your hands are clean, we're gonna go ahead and invite you to use a hand to touch your face. And this is for alternate nostril breathing. So this is just a very focusing breath. If you have a stuffy nose, you won't do it. You take your right hand, and if you're if you don't feel that you can support it just sort of in thin air, you could rest it on your knee if you're on the floor, or if you're in a chair, you could rest it on the arm. And you take your thumb, and the thumb, I'm gonna go in a little closer, so you can see me better. The thumb closes the right nostril. So it's right thumb, right nostril, and then it's going to be right ring finger, left nostril, and the technique is this. You close the right and you exhale out the left. Then you inhale in the left, close it with the ring finger, and then you exhale out the right. Inhale the right. That's the whole entire technique. So the basic technique is pretty simple and then there's variations. So let's try the basic technique. Of course, if you've done this with me before or on your own before, go for it. But let's, I'm gonna guide the basic, which is exhale, inhale, close, switch. Exhale, inhale, close, switch. Exhale, inhale, close, and switch. Let's pause. Inhale through both and take a soft sigh. So my pace may have been too fast or too slow compared to what you'd like. We'd like to slow it down. We'd like to slow the breath down. If though you liked it and you wanna try a variation, here's the variation. You take the first and second finger and place it on what we call third eye point, which is between and above the brows, as if you made a little triangle. And we say two eyes to look out, one eye to look in. That's your intuition spot. Your thumb, it's still the thumb and finger. It's the same exact, except you also are making it more meditative by taking fingers to third eye point. If you like, you can close your eyes and send your awareness to that third eye point as we continue to exhale, inhale one side, Close it, exhale, inhale the second side. So I will be quiet for a little bit so you can try that. Again, the, the pattern is exhale, inhale, switch. Now, if you find the mind wandering here, it's the same concept. You'll notice very gently and kindly that the mind is wandering and you'll just ask it to return to the breath. If you find it still challenging, then you may wanna state the instructions in your mind. You may wanna say, exhale, inhale, switch. Exhale, inhale, switch. So let's try that for about another minute.
Let's end this part of the practice with your next exhale. Lower the hand. Go ahead and inhale through both. Soft sigh. Inhale both. Soft sigh. One more. Soft sigh. So we'll take one more variation for alternate nostril breathing. Again, you can take this variation or not. You can stick to what you were doing, any of the levels. This variation adds a breath retention or breath holding. We usually don't do a lot of breath holding. Healthy breathing is considered, you know, we breathe in a circle, we inhale, we exhale. The little bit of a breath retention is to help you focus and stay focused. You don't wanna do it if you have any severe high blood pressure or any other reason that you shouldn't be doing a, a breath holding, but it, it will be brief, so it's, it's, it's your decision. So see what you think. So here's how you would do it. You would exhale, just as we did before, exhale, inhale. You would hold both, hold the breath. I usually count to three. So I would do exhale, inhale, close, one, two, three. Second side, exhale, inhale, close, count, one, two, three. And you would continue like that. Again, option of two fingers to your third eye point, totally up to you. Go at your own pace. At, on any of these levels, we'll do it for about a minute. If you find the mind wandering, bring it back. And once again, you may wish to say to yourself, I can do anything for two breaths and just do two more breaths with complete and total focus. Next time you exhale, release. And now let's go ahead and inhale through both and soft sigh. Again, last one. So now let's take the next couple of minutes for your choice of the techniques we've done so far. So the first one we did was Breathing in, I feel calm. Breathing out, I smile. Even before that, we did, when I breathe in, I know I'm breathing in. So we just did an in, out as a combination breath and mantra meditation. So that was that's choice number one, is breath, mantra, meditation. Choice number two is the five, four, three, two, one senses. And choice number three is the alternate nostril. So see if you would like to pick one of those and take the next, we're gonna say one to two minutes practicing without my guiding and see if you kind of have learned one of those techniques. I'm just gonna keep a little eye on the clock and I may chime in just to bring you back. Reminder that if the mind wanders, when the mind wanders, kindly and gently bring it back.
Now, if the mind is wandering, see if you can bring it back for just a little bit longer. And once again, say to yourself, I can do anything for two breaths and take two more breaths with complete focus, any technique you like. And at the end of your next exhalation, release your seated meditation. And just know that having sat, having tried, that is the definition of a successful meditation sit. So we have all together done a successful meditation sit. Release any judgment about how you think it might have gone, especially if you saying if you are saying anything to yourself like, I am bad at this. <laughs> This is hard. Um, you know, these are normal kinds of thoughts to have and try to be very kind with yourself and give yourself credit for trying. So now we're transitioning to lying down. So see if you can find a comfortable place to lie down. Now, if you don't want to lie down, you want to stay seated, that's fine. Of course, this is your time for however you want to do it. What I'm going to lead is intended to be done lying down so that you can feel the full support of the floor. But if you're not in a good place to lie down, it is 100% fine to remain seated. So if you do decide to lie down, there are options. You wanna be extremely comfortable. So let's say you have any back issues. It may be helpful to have your legs up they could be up on your couch, a chair. You could have a cushion underneath your knees. Generally, we want our head and our neck in line with the spine, so we don't want a big pillow, but if you have a little tiny pillow to support your head, that can be comfortable. Legs could be straight, knees could be bent. Ideally, if they're bent, they're supported. So you really want to be in a place where you're not doing any work at all, where you are completely held by gravity and there's absolutely nothing to do. You may like to cover yourself with a light blanket if you're cool. You may like to put something over your eyes. So any of these are options. Just get comfortable. So I'm talking because I'm seeing some people still getting into their positions. You just want to feel free to Take your time. And once you feel that you're where you'd like to be and be, you'll be there for a little while, see if you're comfortable closing your eyes or coming back to that soft gaze. And know that in this kind of practice, there is no way to do this wrong. All you have to do is listen and kind of follow instructions, but honestly, if you don't hear me and you don't follow the instructions, that is 100% fine. It's normal to go in and out of sleep. You could nod off, it's fine. Sometimes these practices are intended to help you fall asleep and there are recordings specifically intended for that. Then there are recordings, or what I'm going to do now, intended to have you find a place that's between being asleep and being awake. We call this yoga nidra. And it's intended to be this sort of place that is deeply healing between being awake and asleep. And it's said that just a 20 minute practice of yoga nidra is equivalent to having four hours of solid sleep. 
I'm not suggesting you give up four hours of solid sleep, but if you do have trouble, if you have any insomnia, this is a helpful practice. So let's go ahead and begin the practice. So begin to feel your body as it's in contact with floor, cushions, whatever it is that you're using. So you may be able to feel the contact between your heels and the floor. You may feel your legs and the floor. You may feel hips on the floor. You might feel your back in the floor. You may feel the contact between shoulders and floor, between the arms and the hands and the floor, and between the head and the floor. And see if you can feel all these points of contact at the same time and breathe into them. And breathe out into the floor. See if you can release any tensions and worries right into the floor. Let the floor, let ultimately Mother Earth support you and know that the earth is there for you to support you in this practice. Feel completely supported and held by the earth. And then begin to feel the face, let it soften, and let a sense of softness come into the forehead and the eyes. Let them sink down and settle. Softness around the nose, cheeks, jaw, the mouth, the whole face soft and relaxed. And let the sense of softness go down into your throat, into your heart center, we call the center of the chest, heart center, chest, belly. Let it be soft. Imagine someone is pouring warm oil onto your shoulders and gently massaging it in. And let that massage continue down the arms into the hands until arms and hands feel soft and relaxed. And then imagine that oil on your legs and allow yourself to be massaged down your legs, onto your feet. And let legs and feet be soft and relaxed. Whole front body, whole front body, melting down into back body and whole back body melting down into the earth. We'll take a journey now through the body. I'll simply mention a part of the body and you might repeat it to yourself. You might feel sensation there or you might not. And again, you might drift in and out of hearing. It's fine. You can come back when and if you hear me again. We'll start with that third eye between the brows, center of intuition, and move to the mouth, feel the lips, and feel the inside of the mouth. Feel it alive with sensation. Let's move to the right hand, right hand thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, right wrist, lower arm, right elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, right side, right waist, right hip, right thigh, right knee, 
right calf muscle, right ankle, right heel, top of the right foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, and right sole. Then we'll move to the left side, left hand, left hand thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, left wrist, lower arm, left elbow, left upper arm, left shoulder, left armpit, left side, left waist, left hip, left thigh, left knee, left calf muscle, left ankle, left heel, top of the left foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, and left sole. Let's move to the top of the head and go down the back body, back of the head, back of the neck, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, muscles down the right side of the back, muscles down the left side of the back, top of the spine, middle portion of the spine, lower spine, right hip and left hip and the whole back together. And going back up to the top of the head, and going to the forehead, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, right eye, left eye, right ear, left ear, and notice both ears, and notice inner ears. Notice your ears receiving sound. And now your nose, tip of the nose, right nostril, left nostril, upper lip, lower lip, upper teeth and gums, lower teeth and gums, the tongue, let it be heavy and relaxed at the bottom of the mouth, chin, right side of the jaw, left side of the jaw, whole face together, throat, heart center, right side of the chest, left side of the chest, upper belly, lower belly, pelvis, whole front of the body. Now both legs together, both arms together, whole back, whole front, whole body, whole body, whole body supported, whole body supported by Mother Earth.